Hello, friends. Why is that me, though? Oh, God. <laughs> this just in. What? All right. Well, All right. thank you, guys. <laughs> It's a new location <laughs> with Sim. I've moved in. Christine's here, but I'm here. She's, she's always here. <laughs> Today is the day. It's the launch day of the Holo Taco X Sophia collection. I'm so excited. Anyone notice a new emote? <laughs> is it that? Who's me? that? Me with my mouth agape? Wait, is that even a real photo? <laughs> Just in case, maybe we'll both introduce ourselves and yeah. why we're sitting here in front of you, or in case your dad's mm. watching. Hi, hi dad. Um, <laughs> I'm Christine of Simply Now Logical. I did a lot of nail videos, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> and now I focus on my nail polish brand, which is Holo Taco. And this is... Hi, I'm Sophia Nygaard. Um, me and my husband Tyler run a couple YouTube channels, but mostly the Sophia Nygaard YouTube channel. And we do a lot of weird videos, a lot of weird videos. We like to travel places, we like to mix things. Cold places recently. Recently cold. Vegas places. Vegas places. Mm -hmm. Are we going? After this. <laughs> but we also do a lot of videos where we do weird experiments, like we mix cosmetics together, mix candles together, etc., etc. We have been friends since 2017 era of YouTube. <laughs> Have you been here since? Since the, how since was that manicure? 2017. Oh, since <laughs> lunch, since $130,000 manicure. <laughs> or just put, I'm newer. How long have you been here? This is a test. Mm. Six minutes left. Do you want to just show them the box? Yeah. Ah! Then, <laughs> here, you can have that. I was like, what should I Look, do? I have my Vanna own. White it. Here she is. Sophia X Holo Ooh, Taco. It's got pink foil. Nice. And this is what's called a die cut. Shout out to our art director. Th this is... This is everything. Look! Because this was your like gothic vision. It's yeah, matte black absolutely. with foil, careful fingerprints. Whoosh. Don't put on hand cream before Something you Something fell out. <laughs> I was trying to show open them, it to show them, them like inside. a book. Well, what's on inside? Ta-da! Should we say the line? What is the line? This line. Oh yeah. Hello, friends. <laughs> the box, and then when you open it, if you get the entire Sophia's Bat Bitch bundle, which is like everything the hero bundle. Bat get, Bitch bundle. You get all five shades and special unicartons that say Sophia X Holo Taco, and they're hollow. They're not the same as the truck of mine. We upgraded. No. And there, there's a nail file that. insert here. It's a black crystal nail file. Oh, black yeah. nail file. We've mm. never had a black file before. Mm. Loose bat glitter. We could have glitter bombed you guys. I was thinking about like, you know, like Mark screw Rover the bag. Us. Just like throw <laughs> throw the bats in the package. Have you been here since? $130,000 wow. Manny, 87%. Damn. 13% are new. Um, we apologize in advance. It says live in one minute, but people say it's live. Oh, ah! shit! <laughs> It's there! It's just you! The That's you! <laughs> Honestly, the macro shots look so good. They do. The set design was good also. The Her banner Sophia's looks great. Feeling fiendish co yeah. color. I know. I'm just gonna watch this gift. <laughs> just the foil, just like over and over. Yeah. Shout out to my team who did that. Spirit fingers. Then we have, are ready for next? Brucey. Ooh, yeah, look at that little gif. Brucey. Feeling fiendish. Then we have Bat Bitch. And then we have Bury Me in Hollow. And then also That's my black nail. crystal nail file. Everything is limited edition. I feel like uh, there's a yeah. lot. This is an experience. Yeah. <laughs> like the box looks so good. I, if I had, well, I do have a bookshelf. Like, <laughs> if I had a bookshelf. But this is, you have a bookshelf. I do have a book. Guys, oh. if every little piece of this box has intricate, cool designs. We've got bats and moons and the little creepy eye. Got it, whole bundle. I'm so excited. Uh, got the full box, Bat Bitch. I love Brucey, order confirmed, Bat Bitch. Yeah, <laughs> well, some love for Brucey. I got it, Brucey, Brucey. There's some really good um, macro nail photos of Tyler wearing Brucey. His nails are wide. He has thick nails. <laughs> like, how do I say this without coming for Ben? But like, there's something <laughs> about like, cause Ben often models like the short nail. He's like, sh our short nail guy, yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, I'm like- Tyler, right? boy! <laughs> Tyler! The nail estate is huge. It's nail amazing. estate, yeah, exactly. Like, Guys, what's that big, incredibly old meme? Th there's so much room for po for polish on here. Basically, <laughs> like, yeah. We painted his nails in my basement, yes, and he's, uh, has he legend yet? has it, he's still there. He's still there. Was there tea, Ben? Ben? Tea? So much attitude. Ben, <laughs> was there tea? Well, I heard I don't oh. have very nice wide nails. <laughs> Thank you, narrow-nailed Ben. <laughs> I'm a skinny legend. Ready for the feature video. 
Oh, who, who is she? You like that stroke? Oh, the stroke along the box. Okay, we are so cute. I also like this thing. This is an interesting macro shot you guys get. Our photographer shot this one, but I think it's like the camera is like this, and then you make sure that the yogurt lid or the plexiglass is like mm. angled this way so that the bouquet happens at both ends of the frame. I've done a stream on how I make my yogurt lid spills. Like this yogurt lid right here. <laughs> like this yogurt. Actually, I don't know Did if that's Did you mean this? <laughs> it's time for our yogurt segment. Oh. Ooh, I'll reuse. Ooh. Like, how, interestingly, how symmetrical the back is, right? Look at that little. That's how I poured it. And then the top, the front is like. The how front it felt. gets like spilled, but the back still retains like the, the path. Hello, oh. friends. Sophia oh. here, and welcome to my new collection with Hollow Taco. Is that your voice? I did. I, re I remember recording that, yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> so. There, Christine and I mixed up five new limited edition nail polish concoctions and tucked Ooh, them into a fancy fingers. little collector's box, a la mid century moving. Gothic bookshelf. Okay, looks good. Let's have a look inside. Mm -hmm. First up, you've heard of jazz hands, but are you ready for spirit, spirit fingers? fingers? <laughs> we designed this spooky gray shade to bring out your inner ghoulie ghoul. What's on my hand? <laughs> it's spirit fingers. It's, it's spirit fingers. It's a cool gray jelly formula that is buildable in mm. two to three coats. It also has a magenta red shimmer, and that's what makes it so special. Yeah. And look, it just comes through in the spotlight. Yeah. And it has a dash of scattered hollow. So like, little, look, 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 look at that. Yeah. Okay. There's like those little extra sparkles because I've been wearing looks. it for a few days, and I've noticed that you can kind of see the red like anywhere. It is almost never, yeah. it's never actually just gray. No notes, no notes. But the name- This was like the first prototype actually. I think it, I was, think it was too, yeah. yeah like, but the name was not hard to come up with, but we had a few different ones that were kind of like lingering around. I think some of them we ultimately had to ax because of an IP conflict. But I think Spirit Fingers is cute because Spirit it's like double entendre. Not it's really double, it's not really double entendre, but like, you know, it's, it's got yeah, some yeah. late levels to it. Mm -hmm. Ben wanted Ghoulie Ghoul. Ghoulie Ghoul, yeah. Ghoulie Ghoul. It's just really hard to say, and it sounds yeah. like Ghoul Ghoul Ghoul. It sounds like Gabagool. Gabagool. Oh, I thought it was it sounds like Ghoul Ghoul Ghoul. <laughs> okay, fun so, fact, this is just fingers. coming in, that Spirit Fingers is amongst the top sellers individually, probably because we've only been talking about that now. So let's move on to one of the other ones. Next up, I'm pleased to introduce you to my friend, Brucey. Brucey a stunning steely teal linear holographic polish with a rainbow flare that shines from the abyss. Yeah, you got the rainbows. Oh yeah. Oh, Just remember, so nail pretty. polish is your friend, not food. Tyler! Oh my God, Tyler. <laughs> Conceiving of this collection. Mm -hmm. When, <laughs> when <laughs> I did it. I was thinking like we wanted like a variety of colors, like something like in the like blue or green family, like something like red or pink, something purple. Like I was kind of, you know, I didn't want it to be like too samesy across the board. And I love your guys' general greens and teals, especially the deep ones. And I was mm -hmm. like, how about something teal? And I think yeah. you guys were like, great. Let's do it. Linear hollow. Let's go. See those like tiny little rainbow lines that pop up in the light? Yeah. That's what a linear hollow does, but the base pigment is like a muted steely teal color. There. You can see that like when the rainbows are not activated, it's like steel metallic teal. Yeah, it's Got kind of it. a very it's a very interesting color. It's like sharky. Well, that's what That's the point. Who is Brucey? This color Brucey is inspired by an OG lipstick concoction that I made in 2017. Named, Good year. <laughs> named Brucey. Yeah, named Brucey, which was like a sort of deep grayish, tealish color. And we mm -hmm. named it Brucey after the shark from Finding Nemo, who is also named after the animatronic shark from Jaws. That OG lipstick concoction became a ColourPop lipstick as well. So mm -hmm. Brucey has kind of stuck around. So if you have Brucey from her ColourPop club, you can wear Brucey on your nails. Or maybe you're feeling fiendish and in the mood for my go-to movie shade. We went with a classic creme formula for a full creamy coverage look. So now you can match your fiendish behavior to your fiendish fingertips. Look okay. at that muted baby. It's muted, but it's still colorful. Like it's still fun. It's very interesting. I really, really, really like this color. Our fiendish behavior, like merch, you know, kind of been like playing with like purples, like muted yeah. movie purples. Um, and like this one is kind of like in that family of the colors that we, we use in that brand as well. But I just feel like it just looks good. I've been wearing it on, on my feet a lot. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, on but your it's toes. A good toe color. Show us your toes. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't shave them. I wasn't ready for what? this. <laughs> It is the shade to confirm that we gave away on the truck. Yes, so yes, yes, you've yes. seen the shade before. So, and that was given away in a different carton. So Ooh. you see the one on uh, the one that, on the right is that, the one from the truck event. So it's a matte carton. Wait, so my it's, right. It's not matte. It's just not hollow. Yeah. 
and I'll block on it's Christine's a, face. It's a flat magenta shade with um, black, and then the new carton is all hollow all the way through. Um, and then the nail file matches too. So the nail file oh, yeah. is also feeling fiendish-ish. Do you want to you go? <laughs> on God. <laughs> you can like hear it. <laughs> now stuff. unfurl your bell sleeves and whip out your cat eyeliner because Bat Bitch has arrived. Oh, yeah, this is an bitch. understated but eye-catchingly beautiful black pearl nail polish with a subtle eerie blue shimmer the that macro, does have like, a bit of a bite to it. Bam. So Bat Bitch is a black pearl formula. It has a sophisticated eerie blue shimmer and it can't decide if it's black or blue. It's interesting because it also like when you put on a single coat, it's like almost eggplant. Yes, so which it's is like, really confusing. It is simultaneously eggplant and blue, but also it's black. When you apply the first coat, it has like a warmish reddish eggplant yeah. undertone, but then the shimmers and the burlescent pigments build in two to three coats and it ultimately does look that darker, deeper shade. Yeah. I think it suits the sophisticated goth. I feel like I really, I just wanted to do like a black color because I feel like that yeah. is just like, it had it had to happen. Chat thinks it's orange. They obviously are colorblind. Just ignore, orange. ignore the oranges. <laughs> when it's not, it'll, when you don't have the iPhone flash on, it almost looks like velvet to me. Yes. Yeah. All velvet has a sheen to it, yeah. right? And I think the sheen in this does, there, you can see it's like less, yes. less sheeny, but it's still got a little bit of something. I was kind of trying to be like, it's almost like the kind of color where it's like, I'm wearing black nail polish, but like I got a little secret. We don't have anything like this. We're in a different, look how velvet it looks, like it looks velvet, there. Right? Yeah. Ooh, That's yeah. like the midnight sky. That's pretty. Yeah. This was probably the largest amount of prototypes we've ever had. Maybe with the exception of the barista bundle, just cause that was all very closely related to skin tone. The other ones were like locked earlier than this one we kept coming back to. It was like, Whatever Dead Line Ben said, it was like up against that. It was like, <laughs> Whatever <laughs> Ben said. <laughs> this just in, what's sold out? The bundle. I warned you. <laughs> the Bat Bitch bundle is sold out. That's insane. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. You guys, are we a cult? Yes. Are we a cult? <laughs> We're a SAF cult today. I'm a cult leader now. What do I do? What do I get? What are my, what are my advantages? collection. <laughs> And to round out our collection, there's no better way to go than to be buried in hollow. Bury Me in Hollow is a crushed holographic formula that's a perfect match to some of our Franken lipsticks acquired on our perilous bad makeup science adventures. Okay, and the best part what is, is a Franken lipstick? What is a Franken lipstick? So a Franken lipstick is the, the, the lipstick that results when you melt a bunch of other lipsticks together pour it into a mold and then you have a Franken lipstick because it's Frankenstein from pieces of other lipsticks. A lot of the lip cosmetics end up in this shade. Um, the things that have been like similar to sort of like berry, some of the, the Franken 4 lipstick was like a little bit deeper, but the Franken drugstore lipstick was still berry, but like a little closer to this. The Franken gloss actually is very similar to the shade. Mm -hmm. And weirdly the Franken um, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer is also similar to this coat. <laughs> Know them. <laughs> Your enemy interested in making a shade like that for um, our collection. And I feel like it also kind of offsets the other colors nicely. We decided on this, the crushed holographic formula because we were trying to like mimic the idea of like, I got a lot of stuff in here without yeah, it being yeah. like too crazy. Without it being hard to apply and weird. Yeah. <laughs> also like, like, would you want to wear it? You yeah. know what I mean? Like <laughs> when you apply a crushed hollow, it is technically a jelly, so it is mm. translucent. Mm. And then you build it up in two to three coats. Oh, first. someone asked, are the they wide brush? They're all wide brush, yes, right? Correct. Yeah. I like wide brush. It's I feel like it's all easier for me. And to top it all off, I present to you my very own black crystal nail file. Already so I wanted already to file my nails in a we style that suited me. <laughs> black. I know this is too late because it's sold out, uh, but a glass nail file is so much better than an emery board or a metal nail file because it A, lasts forever if you just clean it. Like all mm. you have to do is rinse it. Mm. The grit stays on it forever. It doesn't wear down. And it's, it is one-sided because it's black. So there's mm. like a different printing and production process for mm. the black files. So well, thanks for telling. For the people who did thanks buy it, us. that's what a glass nail file is. It'll <laughs> change your nail. And it also works better and faster. Do you think I'd forget about bats? Hell no. We got baby bats, baby. We got bats too. I'm talking about bats, baby. These bats are like the cutest, tiniest little bats you ever did see. It's interesting because you made a very good point. The bats can't be very big because otherwise their wings would be erect and not necessarily flatten against your nail. Like we did try a bat topper. I find that A, you have suspension problems where they just fall to the bottom because they're mm. heavy. Yeah. And B, even if that doesn't, even if you shake it up and like you mix them around, trying to take bats out of a bottle and put them on your nail with a wet brush is not happening. Mm. The 
best way to do it is to just place them. Create your own batty mani by picking up too. the bats with a wet toothpick end and placing them on top of wet a toothpick. fresh coat of glossy taco. Add a final top coat to seal them in and make sure they're not flying anywhere fast. I hope you love my new Hollow Taco collection as much as I do, and I can't wait to see all of your spooky manis. Cute. Everything is limited edition, so if you'd like to snag my collection, make sure to shamash that checkout button. And I'll see your nails shmash. a next shmash. time. Shamash. Can we just get a round of applause? To the Holo Taco team, to tech support, to the web devs, to Sophia's team, to social media, to customer service, the website, everything worked. I know that's like the No, 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 that's great. Thank God. Are you kidding? That's awesome. So hearing. This just in. Okay. Tell us more. This was the most orders we've ever gotten in one day. All right. Well, All right. thank you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think a high five is in order. That's crazy. Um, so I got a lot of more good ideas. So, you wow. know, if you want to round two. <laughs> Part two. And it's I think like I learned so much that I'm like, I got to. Now, 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 now I know more. Now yeah. I know more than even when we developed these, you know? Yeah. I'm going to do a quick poll of what's your favorite. We'll leave off the creme. I agree. Just I agree. Finish, just Cause cause also, cause people have known it, it's like a known quantity already. People known about it. Do you want to tell people why you went with one creme, but everything else you wanted specialty? That is a good question. And I don't really know. I, <laughs> what I liked about the idea, like of the feeling fiendish color was that it was almost like understated, mischievous, unique, but like kind of every day. Interestingly enough, after we locked them in, I was like, shit, should we have like gone like with like all one formula across them all? Like to no. make it? The answer is no. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's take a look at the poll. 38% of you, the top, say Spirit Fingers is your fave. Mm. And then followed by Bat Bitch at 30, and then Bury Me in Hollow at 19, and Brucey at 13. And this just in, we're getting sales data. First place for sales is Spirit Fingers. You guys are aligned. Congratulations, you're not talking shit. Second place, uh oh, it's the same, it's Bat Bitch. <laughs> not the hand good phone. Job, good job. <laughs> not the hand phone. In third place for sales data is Bury Me in Hollow. Also, what you guys say. Wow. And Brucey, unfortunately. I'm it's sorry okay. to report the great. Someone has to be in last. Detectives, assemble. Now is your time. Oh, shiz. There's a group of people who like to guess what we're coming out with. They take pictures, they screenshot my nails, and they try and build different evidence files to figure out what I'm launching and when. Mm. I have stalkers, basically. I am familiar. I am not on the, the Discord. I I have seen some of the screenshots that you have sent me and there's like images of my toes on there from like years ago and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? So a long time ago, I posted your prototypes and mm. didn't tell people whose they were. Yeah. And I just wrote working on fall 2023. No one knew Sophia though, that oh, that, oh. that there we were collabing. So they didn't know what that was, mm -hmm, but then mm -hmm. we gave it away. We were like, we're going on a truck. What is it? What are you clutching there? What is my that? My luggage? There was I love also- this relationship you have. Yeah. <laughs> this like sort of cantankerous like vibe going back and forth. <laughs> also started posting daily bat facts since oh, we announced cute, this collab. Oh, that's cute actually. I like that. <laughs> this was one of the, the pitches that you had. This was you actually literally had a, a possibility. Because you guys were on the same wavelength as us when we were thinking of prototypes because we basically prototype it. <laughs> I mean, it, it is sort of, it, I can see why this is fun. It's very unhinged. They were trying to colorize my footage. This was oh shot God. in black and white. This is like what you do to like black and white footage from the 1920s. Yeah, so. Like they're trying to like figure out. Anytime you colorize it, it just looks red. Why is that me though? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Why like... is that me though? <laughs> On the top right, that is Spear fingers. the only accidental leak. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw your video, I was like, she's wearing her. Uh, someone came up you? with this mock box before they saw it in full. Oh, which is wow. Like very, very close. That is very like, similar to Basically this. almost the same. Yeah. Who are you? All right, everyone. Big thank yes. you so thank much again you. for being so excited and for shopping our yes. club. I couldn't have done it without a better bat bestie. So make sure to use the hashtag holotaco x Sophia so we can see all your manis and I'll be reposting and waiting. And just a gentle reminder that fulfillment may take up to eight to 10 days because the order volume is ridiculous. Don't forget to smash, smash. that like button, like check button. out button, all the buttons, stream button, subscribe button, whatever. And uh, should we say the la your last line together? Your, your last line? No, your last line. What do I say? And we'll see you guys. Uh, next time. Wait, that we one? gotta do it together. Okay. Yeah. Is that, Thank, is that yeah. the line? Yes. Okay. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching. And we'll, and we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time.